Welcome to the Wine and Spirit Education Trust 3-Minute Wine School, presented by Tim Atkin, MW. The sweet, fortified wine known as port has been popular and traded widely since the 17th century. The merchants who made this wine famous, and whose names are still seen on bottles today, continue to be based in the northern coastal towns of Oporto and Villa Nova de Gaia. The vineyards, however, are located well inland on steep terrace slopes in the hot, arid climate of the Douro Valley. These very tough conditions produce grapes that are intensely flavoured and deeply coloured. Traditionally, winemakers extracted the colours and flavours of the grapes by using groups of workers to tread the bunches in shallow stone troughs known as lagars. Nowadays, the process is usually mechanised, though the equipment is designed to simulate the effect of treading by human beings. After barely 24 hours, the fermentation is stopped by adding grape brandy, giving us a wine that is both sweet and high in alcohol. The addition of spirit was invented in the 17th century to help preserve the wine on its long journey from Portugal to the dinner tables of Northern Europe. There are many different types of port, ranging from simple fruity wines labelled as ruby or reserve ruby, which are best drunk young, to vintage ports such as this one, which need to be matured before they're consumed. The finest is vintage port made in the best years, which usually occur around three times a decade. When they're young, vintage ports are so tannic that they need to mature for many years in bottle. But over time, the tannins become silky and the vibrant dark fruit flavours are joined by savoury, figgy and even chocolatey notes. Due to their age, thick sediment forms in the bottle, so the wine needs decanting before it's served. A popular alternative is late bottled vintage port, also made in good vintages and aged for five to six years, decanted and then released, ready for immediate drinking. Tawny port develops a very different character due to long aging in wood. As the name suggests, the wine is a pale, rusty brown with aromas of dried fruit, nuts and coffee. Most tawny port is a blend of vintages with the average age stated on the label, such as 10, 20, 30 or even 40 years old. A colletta is a tawny port from a single vintage, aged in wood for at least seven years. White port can range from dry to very sweet and is best served chilled or as a refreshing drink with ice, tonic water or lemon. Because port is sweet and rich in flavour, all types of port pair wonderfully well with cheese. Ruby style ports go extremely well with dark chocolate, red fruit desserts and mild or blue cheeses. Tawny style ports work well with milk chocolate, caramel, nuts and dried fruit desserts, and hard cheeses. We hope you've learnt something new about Portugal's most famous fortified wine and that you're keen to enjoy a class soon. To find out more about port, visit ivdp.pt. Cheers. The Three Minute Wine School is brought to you by the Wine and Spirit Education Trust the biggest global organisation in the field of education and qualification of wines and spirits. If you would like to learn more, please visit our website www.wsetglobal.com.